Hello and good evening, uh, people. Um, so, uh, this video is going to be very short, um, because quite honestly, I'm pretty sure that you guys don't want to sit there um, with uh, 20 plus minutes listening to me jabber. So, I'm going to try to make, hopefully, make this short, uh, less than 10 minutes. So, anyway, here it goes. So, um, down here in Wyoming, we, uh, we get some news here and there. Um, I don't really have the TV. I have internet, but I don't have TV. So I don't really get us, you know, check out the news and what's, what's been going on around here and whatnot. But, uh, today we're going to be talking about the most, um, recent, not most recent, but a close to recent event that happened just a couple of months ago and it was the Bundy Cliven incident and I want to talk to you guys about um, my personal opinion on it and why I think um, what I think about it and why I think about it and things like that uh, the political um, thing that's been going on about it is uh, w whether his decision was right or whether his decision was illegal or legal and in general um, a lot of people think that uh, what B Bundy Clive um, Cliven did was uh, very wrong and uh, the the law enforcement agencies like the federal agents and the BLM agents had total right to go onto his property and do what they did but um for instance one uh one question is what happened and in my personal opinion and as much as i've you know studied onto it and looked at it and whatnot i've come to realize that um in all reality uh the federal government should not own property in fact they um the Constitution restricts them from a lot of duties and whatnot and what what they're able and not able to do and one of them is for territory of the United States of America uh, the territory of the United States of America is supposed to be public it's not supposed to be private or owned by any federal government or government in general uh, so one thing um, what we have to look at is what happened well what happened okay so um, basically Clive and Bundy you know a ranch rancher for you know generations lived there his family lived there and uh, out of nowhere the BLM people came by and basically said that uh, you have to leave because you're endangering a species on your on this land and that was the tortoise turtles and uh, his cat, his cattle and livestock were trampling all over it and endangering them by doing that, since they were an endangered species. And so the government, the BLM, came in there with backup from the federal government to basically remove him. And like I heard about all of the other um, news reporters and people around there, is they said that it was too much force that uh, what happened for the BLM and federal agents. They used so much force when they shouldn't have because now instead of just Bunny Clive and that they had to deal with it was the entire neighborhood basically. And so um, that's basically what happened. They came in, Clive and Bundy his cattle and and livestock were taken away from him and they basically kept them in pens and whatnot and uh, anybody who had protested against that they had an, an area uh, around the outside of uh, the outside of uh, mr. Bundy's ranch and had it um, had it um, basically said uh, the First Amendment area and that was uh, really extreme for the federal government to do because the, f the Constitution of America does not specify you know in the First Amendment it doesn't say where to you you, you are only 
um, able to have the freedom of speech over here or over there. You're, you know, you, you, you can't assemble unless you assemble over here or over there. And so it was really, really extreme and unconstitutional what they did, as well as for the land. Um, and so then the second question is, well, why the force? And what I think is, um, well, the, the federal government, they're trying to basically buy out the entirety of all the states, you know, making sure that all of it is under the federal government's control and not the people's control. And it, very, very unconstitutionally considering the United States of America is our um, territory. It is, it is the civilian's territory. It is not the government's territory. And so um, then the third question is, well, who else went out there? Did anyone help Clive and Bundy or whatnot? And uh, that there was actually what I heard, and this is just what I heard, but um, what I heard was, uh, I think, um, about a week, two weeks into the whole incident and whatnot, uh, a lot of the civilians of... Um, of that area in Nevada actually protested and went over there to try to stop the BLM and federal agents. Not only that, but what I also heard, and it may be true and it may not be true, but I'm pretty sure it's true, um, but at least a dozen militia members from around the states came around over to his property in support and um, to enforce the constitutional laws as well as the um, uh, Bill of Rights, the amendments uh, rights to his property, to his to his place, and to what was going on down there. And I think it was um, right for them to go down there to do that. I think the BLM and federal agents were a little scared shitless. Is what I think when the people start banding up together and whatnot. Um, at the end of the day, what I heard was when it, I think it ended just a month ago, or maybe it's still going on, I don't I don't know. I'd have to continuously look at it, what's going on and whatnot. But what I heard was uh, the people and of, uh, of the, that were out over by the Cl Cl Clive and Bundy Ranch, as well as the militias, had finally won uh, the um, so-called battle that was going on over there uh, against the BLM and federal agents. And so I'm pretty proud of what happened, at what how the uh, militia members as well as the civilians handled that situation. It was very constitutionally up for them for to do that. Um, but the problem now that we face of what happened over there is the affected, and this says seven. That's the fifth question. The affected by what happened over there. There's probably about four states now that's also having to deal with the federal government as well as the BLM agents from basically what happened over there because the BLM agents and federal agents weren't able to beat Clive and Bundy. So they were basically saying, okay, well, we're going to go over to this state now and do it here. And so that's what they're doing is what I hear. Um, in fact, uh, the state of Texas, they're trying to go down there by the Red River and try to buy property over there that is public land and um, also privately owned by the people uh, and so they're trying to buy that off trying to take that away from the people of the Texans and so since they're doing that now a lot of people in Nevada and Texas are now starting to get a little pissed off and I can I can agree with that I just hope it doesn't come this far over here because I will have a problem with that Anyway, um, yeah, I'm right now it's 9:37, uh, 9 minutes 30, uh, well, 9 minutes 41 seconds now. So I will try to get bit back off this now. But I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, let you guys know about that. And um, I hope uh, my uh, opinion has enlightened some of you guys. Um, 
I know that I, you know, if you want to leave a comment down below, go for it, um, and I'll be able, and I'll, um, I will appreciate it, um, and I'll uh, see if what I can do and answer some of you guys' questions and whatnot. Thank you, and God bless, and you have a good day. Bye.